I have not been on here in a minute and it's because I had personal things that I needed to work on with myself and I was doing a lot of procrastinating. I was doing a lot of trying to sink back down um, into this little space that I go to when I just want to run and hide and that's not good. It's okay to, you know, disappear and if you're regrouping and, you know, but as far as trying to sink, y'all don't go to that place. It's horrible. Do not go to that place. Stay far away from that place as you can get. Keep God in your heart. I kept God with me the whole time, but I still let myself go down, down, down for a few days. I'm going to back up. I'm going to try my hardest with everything in me to stay up. But when you start feeling um, a certain type of way, and mine was in regards to my baby. So I just, ooh, I got to stay out of that place. I'm telling you, that place can cause you two days, seem like I've been gone two years. So be careful not to go to that place. You'll know what that place is when you start going there. Your place is not going to be the same as my place. So be very, very careful. Okay, guys, so the video you just saw was about four or five months ago and so i just really wanted to revisit that moment but i also um while reflecting on that moment i realized how strong i have actually become within the past few months like you would be surprised when you set a goal to make a change and then you go back and you look at where you were versus where you are now you should be able to see a change and if you cannot see a change it's okay just keep working towards change like i would go to that place that i just mentioned and i would get stuck there for those of you who don't know my baby went to heaven march 7th 2022 and it still feels like five seconds ago literally but i can tell with time and prayer that I am in a better space. I'm going to cry. I'm going to mourn. I'm going to be sad. And that is okay. The key is not to go to that place and get stuck there. The key is revisit the place, take a few deep breaths, and keep on moving. Just like I'm working on it, you can work on it too. I promise you, a lot of people say it will never get better, and they are telling the truth. It doesn't get better, but you, once you open your mind, okay, you have to open your mind. Once you open your mind and you're okay with talking about it, revisiting that place and moving forward, then you'll be a better person. So I will say that it will get easier in that sense. But as far as not being willing to open your mind, pray and, you know, just do what you can at your pace. Don't ever think there's a time limit on it. There is no time limit on how you deal with whatever you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be your loss of a loved one. It can be any situation that takes you to that place that I just showed you that I've been. We don't want to go to those places in 2024 and get stuck. In 2024, we are claiming that we can go to those places we can have our me time and we can jump right back up and keep going. I can do it and so can you. Encourage someone else. Leave comments below on how you deal with um, when you go to that place. We're just going to call it that place. We don't want to, you know, give it too much attention because we don't really want to go to that place. But sometimes we have to go to that place and it's just a part of life. But we don't want to get stuck in that place. Let's focus on going there and leaving immediately.